Hey guys, it's Annie, Creative Cliche. Today I'm going to be transforming myself into Miss Piggy. So if you want to see how it turns out, then keep watching. I'm starting out by using my Witch Hazel just to get off any excess makeup left on my skin. And also, I like to make sure that my brows are nice and damp when I know that I'm going in with a glue stick. Now I'm going in with my non-toxic glue stick to cover my brows. And the reason why I like to have my brows damp before I go in with my glue stick is because it just makes it a lot easier to glue down. So it gets your hairs completely flat. And it also allows you to build up as many layers as you want without it getting all like clumpy. To prep my skin, I'm using the No Pore Blum Primer by Touch and Soul. Then I'm just going right in with my LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation, foundation. <laughs> I don't know why I always say it like that. In the shade Natural, and I'm just buffing this out using my hands, and then I'm setting it using the LA Girl Pro Face Powder. To further conceal my brows, I'm going in with the Death Wheel by Ben Nye, and I'm using that nude shade. This is a cream paint, so you'll get like a really full coverage with this guy. For all of my outlining, I always like to use a black eyeshadow. This way, I can get a full vision for what I'm trying to create, but also if I make a mistake, it's super easy to wipe away. I wanted to keep my eyes open for this look, so I'm just making sure that I extend my eyelids out and slightly tilt it away. This just really embodies that Miss Piggy look. Her eyes, if you look at them, they are like tilted. I think it's like, just, just make them look a little more seductive, you know? And of course you can't forget about her snout. And so this doesn't come off like a harsh line around it, I'm just starting out by gently shading the shape of it using like a light brown eyeshadow. And then I'm just gonna be slowly darkening it as I go. Then I'm just including in her little smile indents from her cheeks and I'm drawing on her chin line. I was definitely starting to drag while doing this look, but luckily I have an emergency candy drawer at all times just to pick me back up only to drop me back down in about an hour, so is it even worth it? <laughs> and it tasted kind of funny, so I was just checking the expiration date on here, and I don't know, it says it's fine. <laughs> before I continue with the rest of the details, I just wanted to make sure that I had the eyes completely right before I move on, because honestly, I feel like that's the most important part, like that, those are like the distinctive features for um, Miss Piggy. So I'm going in with the tag body paint in white to fill in the outer bottom of the eyes, for the pupils, I started out using a light blue by Wolf FX, but it was too light, it was almost blending with the white. So I just topped that off using a dark blue paint from Mayra, and this is from the Paradise palette. I always loved Miss Piggy's purple eyeshadow, she just always looked so put together. So for this shade, I'm going in with the shade Single from the James Charles palette, and just like a random eyeshadow brush. <laughs> So that wasn't giving off the kind of pigment that I was looking for, so I just went in with the light purple shade from the Mayron Paris palette as well. Then I'm just topping back over it with that shade single by the James Charles palette. <laughs> Heading back to the nose, I'm deepening that shading a little more around her nose, and I'm also adding this lighter concealer, I believe this is in the shade Porcelain. And this is the LA Girl Pro Conceal, and I'm just adding this to the outer edge of the nose to give it the appearance of it popping forward. And then I'm taking the Pro Conceal in a darker shade, I believe this is Almond, and I'm just creating shadows around her face and deepening them using the True Match Powder in Nut Brown. To add a little bit of fun to the eye, I'm going in with the Glitterly Obsessed Body Glitter from ColourPop, and this is in the shade Do I Look Like I Care? <laughs> Then I'm adding a little bit of a darker purple eyeshadow just to tone it down a little bit. Now I'm adding in my pupils and I'm taking some black paint by Tag and I'm lining my top like eyeline, like I'm using it as eyeliner on my top lid and then I'm just outlining the entire eye in general, like the new eye that we created. I'm deepening up that cheek expression, then I'm using the dark pink paint from the Paradise palette just to fill in my lips, and I'm popping on these lashes by Eldora in the style H162. <laughs> these lashes were perfect for the look by the way. 
They came in like a really long lash band, which normally you would trim to fit your eye shape. But since my eye extended, I just kept it long and it just like, ugh, it was perfect. To add a little bit of extra drama, I went back in with that black paint by Tag and I feathered on some black streaks on top of my eyelid just to resemble eyelashes, making it look a little more like pow, you know? And I chunked up my false lashes using the Wow Wings Mascara by Rimmel London. Now for the final details, I'm adding that eye highlight. I'm using these pearl stickers that I had in my drawer just to create her classic pearl necklace. I'm adding on the wig, the blazer, the ear headband that I made. I'm just gonna plug up my nose real fast and I'm also gluing on these paper pieces that I made for her cheeks just to make her cheeks extend a little bit since she has wider cheeks than I do. And I'm gluing these on using some spirit gum and I already painted these using the same paint that I painted in my face, like I used foundation on it. But I'm using eyeshadow just to kind of make them blend in a little bit more. And that's the finished look, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Also, let me know if there are any characters that you guys want me to do next. And yeah, I hope that you liked the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out. You can also subscribe to my channel. I do try to post videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I've been a little off schedule, but I've still been trying to make sure to get at least two videos up a week. But yeah, I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next one.